We've traveled around Monroe and Montgomery County this week surveying damage and giving you an idea of how families across our viewing area are recovering. But there is still a lot more left. WTBA's Ethan Foster took a trip to Smithville today. He talked to a few families recovering in the aftermath. Ethan joins us live tonight with their stories. Emily, Alyssa, right now I am here live in Smithville, just off of Kennedy Road, where I've been all day. Now, check out this tree that I'm sitting on. You saw it in the headline. This thing is massive. It is solid. If you can hear that, it's not hollow. Just one of many, many, many examples we've seen this week of some of the destruction left in the wake of those storms this past weekend. Now, like I said, I talked to two families here on Kennedy Road. These trees, this debris pile is actually in the front yard of one of those families. I wanted to catch up with them, hear more about their survival and how they're doing five days after all of those storms. When he said Smithville, I I tensed up. I think we all tensed up. Phil and Shannon Pruitt were at home on Kennedy Road with their two boys when severe weather hit on March 24th. A few hours after it moved through Monroe County, they found that they had lost multiple barn structures, and Phil says he's not even sure where all the pieces went. I see it in trees, but there's not enough there to, you know, cover this. So who knows where all that tin is at? dangerous storm. While the hay barn and a few other structures may have been damaged or destroyed, Phil Pruitt is just glad to know that his family and his cattle are still safe and accounted for. We're a close family, but I'll say this, I think we're a closer family now that, you know, because... Five days ago. Yeah. Just up the road from the Pruitt farm, another couple survived the storm, but not without some significant damage to their home. It couldn't have lasted over two or three minutes. It seemed like sounded three like hours. <laughs> sounded like gravel. Somebody throwing gravel against the storm outside here. A number of trees fell on the house, but have since been removed. The damage to the back porch and inside their bedroom still remains. It didn't look anything like it did two weeks ago or a week ago. <laughs> In the aftermath, one thing is clear. The love of others, some even strangers, is proving enough to help these families weather any storm. You hear all this bad stuff that happens, and you think, man, is there any good folks left in the world? And then... We know there are. We know they are. They were here. When you top the hill, and you see people that you don't have a clue who they are, and here they are cutting trees off of your fence, like... Where'd, you, where'd y'all come from? You say thank you from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, but it's almost inadequate to what blessings we have received and the overwhelming outpouring of love that people have just lavished on us. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it is inadequate. Well, of course, just always good to hear sweet words like that from families in situations like this, cleaning up from the devastation we've seen all week. Of course, we continue to see more and more. We may even see more this weekend. I do want to give a big thank you to Mr. Terry and Miss Sue Collins. They made sure that I had a place to work and edit and send some over the Internet and even got me some food as well, made sure I was fed. It was clearly a reflection of the love that they felt from so many people here in their community. So thank you so much to you guys. Keep up the good work. Everyone clearing up here in Smithville, Monroe County, Montgomery, everywhere in Mississippi. We wish you the best of luck as you continue cleaning up. We're right there with you trying to keep you updated as more of that moves into our area later this week. But for now, reporting live in Smithville, Ethan Foster for WTVA 9 News.